look, there's there's a lot to rant about here. There really is a lot to rant about. And I'm just going to – listen, the injuries, yes. You had a bunch of injuries in the second half at the end of the game. Manning had nobody to throw to. What the hell was he going to do? He's getting pressure uh, during the game. He has nobody to throw to. Whatever. But um, Odell Beckham. Now, I know he got hurt. I don't want to see guys get injured. I don't like injuries. I don't root for injuries. But he, but this is when you're supposed to step up. This is when you're supposed to be a gamer. You're supposed to be the best in the league. You run around, do advertisements, pound your chest like you're the best in the league. Now, right before the ankle, he still missed the pass. He still dropped the pass. The ball was through his hands before the ankle thing even happened. So, look, I'd hate to say it. I hope it's not broken. I hope he's not hurt really bad. But if he is hurt really bad, I hope that was his last game in a giant uniform. He is a problem. A gigantic problem. Now, I've been saying it for about a year and a half, a little over a year, and last week the pregame show on CBS had a roundtable discussion about it, if you saw it, about how this guy is a problem. Now everybody's starting to see it. Let me tell you what, that Giants defense is terrible. Eli Apple needs to go away too. Needs to go away. By the way, you were losing that game at halftime. They came in to Giants Stadium 0-4 and was winning at halftime. This team is so bad. Now look, again... I don't want people to lose their jobs because I'm the defender of Joe Girardi. But I can tell you right now, I can tell you right now that this this Ben McAdoo has taken the team and ran them straight into the ground. The clubhouse is brutal. And I'm going to tell you why the clubhouse is brutal. Because just before this, and by the way, I was enraged before this. But I heard Eli Apple's postgame interview. And this is what he said. They asked about the the, the the injuries at wide receiver. And he goes, oh, yeah, i never seen anything like that before. You know, all those guys are in my prayers, especially uh, Odell Beckham. Why is Odell Beckham, why is his injury more prayer worthy? That's a problem in the clubhouse. That is a huge problem. These guys, obviously they don't see it. It's not being talked about. I, I, don't, I don't know what this franchise is doing. I have no idea what direction they want to go in. But to sit there and say that somehow this guy's ankle injury is above the team, is above everybody else, and is above everybody else's injury, just shows me that there is a problem in that locker room. I, again, I'm not a professional athlete, but when statements are, look, listen and look and, and listen deeper to the conversation. Listen to what was said. I mean, this guy's over there crying on the sidelines earlier. He's crying, getting cut. Look, I probably hurt. I'm not saying it didn't hurt. Guys are dropping like flies. Uh... You know, we just, we have we played good special teams, but we couldn't win the field position battle because we can't do anything on third down, and we let other teams just shove it right down our throats on third down. Special team finally plays good. Harris breaks his foot. Uh, it's unreal. I got to tell you right now, I don't. I rarely want guys to get fired, and I'm not calling for anybody's job. But if the organization came down and fired McAdoo, fired McAdoo today, I'd be totally on board with it because this team not is it not going nowhere. I don't see how he can turn it around and turn it around for years to come. Because in two years, I think it's gotten worse and worse. And just just not on the field. The play calling is terrible. The locker room is, is, is just, he's losing the locker room already. He's lost it already. I, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. By the way, third and one, and you're in a shotgun draw? So now you got to run like six, seven yards to get a first down? You can't get rushing yards anyway. Why are you running from six yards behind the line of scrimmage? Because somebody wake this ass up. Odell Beckham Jr.'s injury, more prayer worthy than everybody else's. Look, at least when Marshall got hurt, he caught the friggin' ball. Did something on the drive. I feel bad for Marshall. I feel bad for him all, but good God. I'd be like, look, pray for him. At least I caught the ball. And pray for him. Like, pray? Are we this what we're praying now for? I pray EI Apple doesn't play again. It's terrible. Why is it they just seek and seek and destroy him? It's seek and destroy Eli Apple. Oh my god. That's I can't even that's all I got. Um now I got the Yankees tonight. I don't even know. Maybe ranting about that later too. Let's talk about the Jets. Look, by the way, this is my last Giants rant. You want to know why? Because they're not even worth talking about anymore. They're not even worth ranting about. I'll talk about the Jets. 
Now, I'm not going to root for my team to lose so we can get good draft picks and it create a culture of losing. I'm not going to root for my team to lose, but I, I, I mean, I'm not going to talk about him anymore. Listen, until you start, that, that's, this is another thing. This is what we're going to see from the defense, you know. Get up, everybody. Get up. Make noise. By the way, when you stop somebody on third down, I'll start to freaking stand up. Peace.